Kubor Nagashlem to Udongsan Hima. U President Gamigalia Pradesh Congress Committee Uba Vincent H. Pala, and Takasni Kandaitari Uklaling Kot Arajar Arbusau, Habaya Kren, Halor Kajinshim Raj of Hinyotrep National Liberation Council, Ban Wengno Yakajinia Kren Yasup, Lapen Pau Yakajin Smooth Dio. Hakaba ula ong bakani ka day na ka daw jong ka jingbom shimkia jong ka sorkar BJP ha central badru ha ka sorkar jila. Ula benrap da ka papinkin mao kumno ka sorkar hapo ka jingyalam ka seng kongres ka wanra ya ka jingya krenya suk bat ka seng lekno alfa ha ka jingyalam jong menteri rang bak barim ka asam utarun gogoy. Uba pala ula penpao ya ka jingsmu kia ya ka jingbom la jong ka sorkar Pan pinkut no ya ka jingya umsnam hapo ka jingla mikhalia. Ula ong ru ba ka liang persya kam dan benta ay ay. Ha gani ka jingya kerenya sub. Ha ka ba ula kintu ya ka sorkar makan shimkia. Bat kintu ru ya ka HNLC ban em weng. Ya ka jingya kerenya sub. Henry ban beteng da ka jingya smot ho jingmut lang. Ka jingla ka kwa ban don ha pedeng ka syong suk syong stan. Bat ban don ka roy ka par ka ba biang. It's very uh, unfortunate to see when the agency is ready to come to the table, but uh, there's no seriousness on the part of the PGP government at the centre as well as in the state. So it's very unfortunate. If you see in all these issues, the government big promises in the manifesto, whereas when it comes to reality, they always don't care for the people of Northeast. Had these issues be in other states, you see what happened in Assam. When Tarun Gogoi was there, he brought Alfine to the negotiating table and Assam is prosperous, Assam is doing good now. In between also, when the Congress was in power, we tried to minimize all the undergrounds. We brought peace. But today, again, in spite of all those, again, this government is, and the BGP government, now they don't take it seriously. So it's very unfortunate. But uh, we in the opposition, we are not part of those negotiations. We in the opposition, I discussed with Barani also, we have not been invited, we have not been informed, we have not been briefed. So the details, I think, you should get from them rather from us. But it's very unfortunate to see that in spite of minimizing or rather stop the bloodshed, stop all the fighting, but now it has gone waste. So I think it's very unfortunate. Now we have seen uh, the HNLC uh, has decided to withdraw itself from the peace talks, uh, uh, citing that the government has failed uh, to address their five core demands, which include uh, lifting of the ban uh, and uh, providing general amnesty to the outfit. So, do you think? Do you see that? Uh, do you think that the government should provide them general amnesty, or what is the view of your party? See, normally there are two things. If they surrender then there's a different treatment. But if they negotiate, come to the terms and conditions within the constitution, I think the government should not make any undue efforts, rather than the government should be proactive to see that whatever be the solution should come. So I think, uh, I don't know because in the conditions, like I said, we are not involved. What are the real conditions? We only saw it in the paper. I don't know, but I feel that, uh, you know, we have to, every demand has to be negotiated. Every demand has to be discussed. So there's nothing impossible with the discussion. I think that they are, the government doesn't take it seriously. And with discussions, I think during the discussion, because suppose like, they, if they give amnesty, there's lots of terms and conditions also to be out of that. Or suppose whatever each and every point they discuss, they also should be with a commitment. It is not like the BJP comment sign uh, framework with Nagaland and nothing has been uh, done up to now. They have signed an agreement with the ANVC 
when the NBC now I've seen they're moving the file for the forest development, nothing has been done. So I also follow so many things uh, uh, with the developmental works after signing the agreement in spite of they're supposed to amend the six schedule, nothing has been done. So the BJP is known for its promises and failure. So are people what to do? Are people are joining them, are putting are people are helping them direct or indirect? I think equally the state is equally responsible for not pushing very hard and uh, I fully uh, uh, support the peace deal, whatever condition it may be, it should be. We are people who are very small, we cannot afford to lose our uh, brothers and sisters because of guns, we cannot afford to lose peace only because of ego, we cannot afford to lose peace only because of people in the beach we does not bother about the people of Meghalaya. I appeal to HNLC that whatever decision they are taking is a big decision. It matters to the economy of the state, it matters to the life of the people, it matters to so many things within the state. So I appeal to HNLC also to not to just stop the negotiations, <coughs> continue the negotiations and try to see and convince. If required, they can also put uh, or demand a new negotiators or so. So I think it's very important for them also to take it seriously. I request them not to run away from the negotiations, but I request them also to come forward and uh, be more proactive. I don't know what is the reason why all this failure and whom to blame, but I feel that we need peace in Meghalaya, we need peace in the Brio New Trip and also in the total of uh, the state and the country as a whole.